What's up guys, Hello it today with what show? The Hump Day Show. <sighs> Just kill me already. I'm a villain, not a monster. Welcome to The Dating Show. We have our first contestant here, Diani Patel. Tell the audience about yourself, Diani. Hi, I'm in 10th grade, I'm 16, and I like soccer and Harry Styles. Well, let's get into it. What would you like to ask our gentleman over there? Well, if you were going to take me on a date, where would you take me on the first date? Definitely out somewhere. Definitely out somewhere like a nice dinner because if you go to a movie, you can't really like talk to him that much, so that's my answer. I think it'd be kind of fun to go to Sky Zone, get jumping on the trampoline park, like maybe play some dodgeball. I think maybe we should go to the great, great Chicago Cafe because you'll get a good laugh at the people you'll see in there. <laughs> Those were good answers. Definitely like number two's answer. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? Ask mm -hmm. as many as you need. Let's see. I like Harry Styles, but what do you guys think about Harry Styles? Who listens to him? I think it was pretty cool when he wore that dress that one time. When it comes to music, I love music, and with Harry Styles, I think some of his songs are good and some of them are not, like the One Direction ones. But when it comes to his solo career, I think that his most recent album is very good. Okay, take a bit offensive that you don't like One Direction. Um, again, number two. I think we're going to get along. Harry Styles in the dress. Love it. Hmm, third question. Let's see. Valentine's Day is coming up, so what would you get me? Definitely flowers. That's mainly it. Probably nothing. I haven't known you for very long. <laughs> Understandable. I would get you this heart-shaped box, but you'd think you'd open it and see chocolate. But when you open it up, you're going to see a big old thing of sardines. <laughs> because I don't know you very well, and I think, <laughs> I think it'll be good. I think I'd prefer nothing if you didn't know me at all. Not a box of sardines. I guess the best answer was flowers. Hmm. Any more questions, Diani? I think that's it. That's it? Okay, so who do you think you're gonna choose? I think I'm gonna go with number two. Number two, come on out here. <laughs> No kissing. So are you gonna be each other's Valentine's? Um I'm gonna have to go with no being honest. Me too. Is it because you just met her? Yes. Okay, that's understandable. Well, that was it for the dating show. <laughs> So I went home yesterday, and my mom said I should start doing my lunges. Bro. Yeah, she said it'd be a pretty big step for me. <laughs> <laughs> bag, bro. Oh, then she asked me what a fish wearing a bow tie was called. Bro, how random is your Dude, mom? I don't know, bro. bro she said, sophisticated. Oh my bro. gosh, bro, that's funny, dude. Uh, what did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? What did he say, dude? Supplies! <laughs> <laughs> that was corny. What did the ocean say to the beach? Uh, sure? No. Nah. Nothing. It just waved. <laughs> <laughs> I only okay, knew about bro. 25 letters of the alphabet. Okay. I don't know why. Like you don't know, you don't know why you know only 25? No, I don't, wait. I only know 25 letters of the alphabet. Okay. I don't know why. Oh, oh I got you, bro, I got you. All right, how do you follow Will Smith in the show? How? Uh, 
You follow the Fresh Prince. <laughs> <laughs> if April showers bring May flowers, what do May flowers bring? I don't even know. Pilgrims. Oh my gosh, bro. What the heck? Good evening, everybody. I'm Billy the Relationship Guy. I'm here to answer all of your relationship questions. First off, let me tell you something you already know. I give 1,000% better advice than that former host because everyone that took his advice got friend zoned. Okay? Okay. Now let's get to today's question. Tonight's question is from... Can I answer questions from this guy? Any... Am I allowed? Oh, okay. This question is from Ron in Alabama. Um, the question is, how do you tell someone you like them? Well, first of all, Ron, you should know. But I'll still help you out because you obviously probably need it if your advice got everyone friend zoned. So, how do you tell someone you like them? Well, you could just straight up say, I like you, or You could just use some of my favorite pickup lines. So, pickup line number one. You could just use a classic. I mean, it does have the biggest risk of failure, but it's a classic. I mean, you can't go wrong with the classic sometimes, right? All right, oh well. So, you could just say, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. But remember, it has the greatest risk of failure. So I don't know if it's worth it using that one. Pickup line number two. Let's say, you know, you could just be a little sneaky. Let's say you lose your phone. But you but lost your phone. So you could go up to someone and be like, hey, I think I lost my phone. Can I call it from your phone? But instead of putting in your phone number and calling your phone, you go to the contacts app and put your phone number in there. Boom. It's a little sneaky right there for you. That one is probably better because... Worst case scenario, she just doesn't even realize you did that. So, nothing bad can happen. Pick up line number three. Just use this. It could work. It could not. I honestly don't know. Are you a parking ticket? Because you have fine written all over you. Again, that one's just kind of one that could work for you. I don't know. If the other two aren't comfortable for you, just use number three. That should work just fine for you. Well, guys, that's the Hump Day Show. We'll see you next week.